Welcome back Welcome to back, Good Day yes. Big Bear. Thanks for staying tuned. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> this is Gloria Rose, my new co-host on Fridays and, and the occasional Monday. And who knows? Maybe, whatever, a, maybe a Saturday, Wednesday is thrown in there. So I. So this show's going to be on for the weekend. Yes. Oh yes. We're stars. We're stars. We're stars. We're stars. You got more for your money than you bargained for. I'm excited. I'm John. You got money? Shh. I'm John Wells. We're Good Day Big Bear. You can watch everything on the website, channel6bigbear.com. And we have with us today Terry Lynn Bondison. Did I say it you right? did so good. I hate good messing morning. up people's names. Good morning. Yeah, names. last I names. Yeah, they're tough. Good morning. Thank good you for morning. coming. Oh, oh, for sorry. Me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> what? Good morning, it's America. Time, so <laughs> and, 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 and we're talking today about uh, a fundraiser that you guys are doing. Okay. But before we get into that, who is Terry Lynn? Where are you from? Okay, thanks. Okay, <laughs> like, man. asking a while back. I'm, I'm actually from Redondo Beach originally. Oh, yeah. So, oh, another really California girl. Neck of the okay. woods. Okay. Um, I've been said I am the epitome of surfs up. So, and I will own that. Do you that. surf? I did. You as did? A, yeah, absolutely. And roller skate. And yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. You just it's kind of what we you do. We got to get you together with Jeff Matthews. Okay. He's big surfer. Okay. And oh, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I know it well. <laughs> and so. and you've been in, uh, you moved to Big Bear. Moved I'm, to I'm Big Bear. You live here. Okay. Yes. When did you come to Big Bear? About 18 years ago. Okay. Oh. Yes. And almost a local. Yes. And I came up because of a man. <laughs> oh, <that's> a, <laughs> a lot of us <laughs> do that. Yeah. You have a man story too. <laughs> I married mine 18 oh, years oh, ago. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. And, <laughs> I mean, how's that going? Oh, it's going okay. just right. fine. <laughs> just, just checking. You know, yes. Yeah. So. And um, what kind of work did you do off the hill? Um, off uh, many, many things from the garment industry. I was a manufacturer for oh. quite some time, so d uh, down in LA. Mm -hmm. And I worked my first job was at Smart Modes in LA when I was like 18. Okay. So, see? Yeah. We're, we're parallel yes. systems here. You. We're big time. That's we're right. Big time. And then we, came to big <laughs> then we came to Big Bear, and we're still the big time. Okay. And, right. and right now you're working with. Right now, I actually own a company, okay. and it, it really kind of works right into what Singing Pines um, School started okay. to be. Right. I teach leadership skills and team uh -huh. building to uh, youth around the country mm -hmm. and corporations and that type of thing using the high ropes course with harnesses and helmets yes. and all of that. My yeah. husband and I actually opened that company 17 years ago. All right. And so, are you guys still doing that? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, absolutely. So if you have a corporation and you need some skill building, there you, go. you can call. That's right. Lodestone Adventures. I yes. know them. Oh, well, that's me. I know them. Yeah, that's yes. me. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. So how did you how did you get into that business from garment industry? Okay. I can't, actually in got two to minutes see, or yeah, less. two minutes or less. Okay. I came. I actually came up to Big Bear mm -hmm. to do a camp program with some Beverly Hills gals who uh -huh. had a, a inner city youth. Right. Did a ropes course program with long red fingernails, curly hair, and high heels. <laughs> Look to my my height. Oh, you're was, my kind you of gal. That's a vision. <laughs> and it, I have to tell you, the kids just stole my heart. So uh -huh. I went back to. I lived in Brentwood at the time. I went back and said, you know. I think there's a new move for me. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a man was yeah. coming out of the camp See? door, of course. Mm -hmm. It kind of works together. <laughs> and uh, came up here, uh, worked for 12 companies doing this, and mm -hmm. then opened my own about a year into it. Wow. Well, yeah, so that's how we did And decided to stay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can see how that would segue into yes. education. Absolutely. Yes. You know, because it, it, once once you impact somebody's life, you get hooked on it. Oh, that. you better believe it. Absolutely. Yes, it never so, gets old. So how did you open Singing Pines, or did you acquire it, or, or how did that work? It, yeah, I'm one of the founders. Okay. And um, it was, I, we, my husband and I, my husband and I have a daughter. There you go, how it all <laughs> works together like that. Um, and she was graduating from kindergarten, um, in, or nursery school going into kindergarten. I'm sorry. Yes. Graduating she from nursery school, she did. We that's, have a that's diploma. The big, that's the big yeah, deal. A, they, yeah. do the, they do the whole ceremony yes, with now. The, with the oh little my. cap and gown, yeah. and the you that's have to. Big. It's big time. So and by the time they get to high school, it's like, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, dinner. three <laughs> times already. <laughs> yeah, and then okay, so yeah, graduating from kindergarten. Actually, from the nursery school, and uh -huh. it was time to go to kindergarten. And she graduated from nursery, nursery school. Nursery school, yes. To kindergarten, and then it was okay. time to go and select. Yes. So I looked at what. The co-op in the Pines was we. I was on the board of directors mm -hmm. there, and okay. really, really loved working with Charlene Stalkup. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, she was my absolute hero. Mm -hmm. So looking at what she has done for forty-something years, and then what we do mm -hmm. with Lodestone, 
I thought, how can we put a combination of teaching leadership and character building and all that in with academics right. and a safe, like Charlene, a very safe, supporting, loving mm -hmm. the kids and. Just, just a quick aside. Yes. You don't put the kids in harnesses and hang them, hang them from cables. Oh, You'd like to. They do get to do that once a <laughs> oh, year. Oh, really? How exciting! <laughs> they do. Okay. All right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Okay. I just, I, I just sure. had this vision of the classroom. They do. All right. So, anyways, moving on. Yeah. So um, we decided to open a school. Uh huh. And um, we started. We thought we were going to be kindergarten type thing, and it mm -hmm. went from kindergarten. We are now all the way up to fourth grade. Mm hmm. Okay. And uh huh. And we have students that it's an incredible school, and they get to do a lot of hands-on learning by using the outdoors. Okay. But our focus, 100%, is to the excellence of academics, the excellence to right. have these kids loving learning, to have mm. these kids to, uh, going up a bigger notch. Mm -hmm. One of the things is our school is small. It's a private school. How it's many kids? Of, right now, we have 10 students. And we have six um, children that are already enrolled for next year. Okay. This is our third year. It takes a while. Yeah, no, so. it does. And she yes. said something very interesting yes. when I called her. She said, it is the best kept secret yes. in Big Bear. Now, you don't want that to be Absolutely not. That's <laughs> over. Yeah, that done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let me, you, you said private school. What's the difference between a private school and a charter school? Because there, there's some there's some options out there for parents today. There are. Um, we when I say private school, people will ask this question a lot: Are we a Montessori? Are we a charter? Right, are right. we uh -huh. that? No, we're really basically a, a private school. There is a two. It's tuition based. Um, we are not for profit, okay. so the tuition is extremely low, and it is structured. Um, there's a lot of similarities to the public schools. Mm -hmm. um, the, our calendars are pretty much the same. Oh, okay. Yes, we follow state standards. We do standardized testing. Um, okay. All so of that. that. So that's all still in there. It's just yeah. a private. What kind yeah. of, uh, and you've been in business how long? This, this we're going that's on. That we're in our third year. Have you had kids transition out of the school into the public schools, or, or into that's another really school? Obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not very many. Some of them have gone to a homeschooling. Uh, one of them was a gymnast, and she was really oh. moving, just to give you an oh. idea. And that's one of the reasons she mm -hmm. came to our school, because of the schedule was difficult. Mm -hmm. She was training all of the time. So now they're doing an online, wonderful homeschooling okay. type of thing. Um, one of the, we set the kids up to be able to transition. I think that's the bigger question. Mm -hmm. So our cumes and all of those records right. and all of that um, and, and testing and all that can easily transfer. Okay. So let's say a family needs to move, which happens. Right. But they're ready to go. So they're all tested and ready and, and yeah. it's not like, oh, oh you, you came went from to a, a private, private school. school. Right. So okay. do you have a building? Oh, Where yeah. the kids all go to. Yes. Oh, okay. It, See, I don't know. No, they do it on cable. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a yurt. Everybody used to think we have a yurt. We have a zip line to work <laughs> to school. So where, where's the school? It is at Singing Pines Lodge, which is a small camp. And mm -hmm. what we do is that's we. Where I got the key. I got yes. it. Come that's where you got it. You're, you mm -hmm. were right on the money. And so, and it's it reminds me a little House on the Prairie a little Aww. bit. And when the kids all, oh, you should you've got to come. It's amazing. So when it's really cold, we have a fire going, and then the students will be sitting and reading, hmm. and sometimes doing their academics right in front of a fireplace. Okay. We're on about wow. an acre. And uh, yes, and we have two separate parts of the building, okay. and we've got the big, what I, we call the big kids on one side and the little kids on the other side. Um, and it's really nice because they all come together often, like oh. at lunchtime, at recess mm -hmm. time. So the big kids get to mentor the little right. guys. And so it, uh, my kids went to a, to a school where they had blended classes, yes. and it was like a three year, yes. three classes. Went, and what a difference that makes for the little guys oh, yeah. to look and up to the, the big ones. Kids are, yeah. I mean, it really. Yes. Makes makes a difference in, in how they look at their life. Yes, yeah. for sure. Now you mentioned um, outdoorsy stuff? Yeah. What's that? Oh my gosh, like our, like for instance when we're doing math, what, what our uh, teacher may do is take the kids outside mm -hmm. and she, she seizes everything. They may be counting stairs as they're walking to pick up the pine cones, mm -hmm. to pick up the pine needles, whatever, uh, bring it back into the classroom some. and then use that instead of necessarily uh, pieces of paper where you say right, two right, plus right. two mm -hmm. equals. There's so hands-on. Very much so. And Are you a teacher? No, no, I'm the you director. Should be. You uh, have so she's much the, she's energy. The motivator oh, the, she's the, the, the you do this, you do that. Yeah. Yeah. I get pumped up when I talk yeah. about the kids. I have oh, to be because I sit. It's in, really coming across. Thank too. you, thank you. Because I sit in there and you hear the little pitter patter mm -hmm. and their backpacks and, and you hear them talking the craziest mm -hmm. talk as you know. You're yes. not just having kids, and it's a it's a joy. It's an absolute joy to watch them grow. 
So. Outstanding. Yeah. Now let me let me ask you this because you you are a little ex excited about kids. Is your daughter in the school? Oh well, yeah. Let me. Her <laughs> name is special, Tristan Lynn. <laughs> does she get special treatment? We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. And I'll tell you one of the things that I did as a mommy is I backed off. I wanted her to develop and be her own little person yes. especially uh -huh. with my strong personality so right. I have to tell you I may have backed off a little too much you know I sometimes wonder what are you doing in that you know what are you mm -hmm. doing in that mm -hmm. backpack yeah um, but to, this is her weekend of her birthday just oh. to let you know she's turning eight years of age happy birthday yes. Tristan. happy birthday happy Tristan look right there and say happy, happy birthday Tristan and happy birthday daddy too so daddy's birthday is, is uh, the same with happy nine and ten daddy, daddy and yeah <laughs> his name is Adam Aww. by the way <laughs> oh. okay this is when we cry. <laughs> oh, more <laughs> cry, more cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, quick question here. I got two of them. First yes. of all, how how many students are, can you take? That's a good question too, John. Thank you. I have this vision that we'll land around 25 in my mind. So We've never current facilities. You're good up oh, to 25. Absolutely. Okay. And, and and I have to tell you, we will go, we own this building. But mm -hmm. although if the school got started to get bigger, and I have and to you tell you, we've got a lot of movement right now. We've got <laughs> I've already like I said already six people enrolled for next year. Sure. A lot of movement going on in our valley, and mm -hmm. so that's happening. In the case that that would get to a place where let's say we had 60 students, we would lease another property. Okay. Not a problem. So it's. But I had that. You're just going to grow as the school, as the enrollment grows. Yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. to sixth grade. What, to, yeah, we will. We will take it up to sixth grade, and we have two teachers already, and we add teachers as the grades progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are the teachers liking this blended class thing? They love it. They love it, and I, I will tell you, my parents love it too. And again, it is that mentoring type mm -hmm. of thing, um, and it's. It's not difficult. First of all, you remember my class sizes are small, mm -hmm. and that personalized attention right. is very much right. available every day. So if a child, for instance, is is ahead of their game, that teacher is going to know right away. Right. This kid may say kindergarten on her her cue, but this child is reading on a first grade, second grade level. Mm -hmm. So then we move them up. Okay. They are they we grab them and we move them forward. When when our kids very go nice. on into mm -hmm. a public school ever, they will be ahead of the game. Okay. I will that I know. Just like One, Montessori. Yeah, yeah, it is. It okay. very very much so. One of the things that um, uh, some folks that have homeschooled the kids yes. for the whole time yes. and then they go into the high school or yes. whatever one of the challenges they have is all of a sudden these kids are in a social atmosphere that is so foreign to them yes. with such a small school how do you address that mm -hmm. that's another very commonly asked question Oh, I'm just a common guy. You are, you are a good common guy. Let me tell you, I the way I respond to that is I, I don't believe in having a child live in survival every day in a school system. Mm -hmm. So that's lock. I can't imagine my little teeny blonde child doing that. We do a lot of social interaction. The children are are taught esteem. They are, mm -hmm. they are building character. So they, I, and again, I, I would say one of my strong points is I have character. I have a core value system. Mm -hmm. I have a stand to say it doesn't matter what's going on around me. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. and, and I know from little kid up what I'm made of. And you're confident to yeah, make so your own delusion. decisions yeah. without anybody right. making fun. Yeah. Or, yeah. Right. So I believe that the strength of that child that we're developing, yeah, I don't care if you put him in, in, in a concert you know, with millions of people mm -hmm. around, the child still has owned their own space. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the that's way that we That's a good it. answer. Thank you. <laughs> and it's not rehearsed. It's, yeah. a, it's really that team it's building extemporary. leadership thing. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I was going to yeah. say, you, you, you can see that because that's, that's where almost every management seminar, or anything yeah. I've ever done, starts yeah. with, who are you? Right. What are your values? And, and so much of that. Have you had much interface with the public schools? Um, you know, I will tell you, we're, I, I smile, I get so excited. We're recognized now. You know, you start out what, and it, what, what nobody does that mean? recognizes. Do they have your address or something? Yeah, though, they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> the Singing Pines people. Okay. <laughs> yes, but um, we're recognized that we mean business. We're recognized that this wasn't, oh, some nice blonde lady up in Big Bear uh -huh. decided to open a cute little public, your private school. So it's kind of a certification uh, kind it, of thing, maybe? Um, it's an acknowledgement. It's, 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 it's an acknowledgement that they're mm -hmm. right up there with yes. uh, education on an educational yeah. right. level. And, and they'll call me and they'll say, you know, we're doing a seminar down here. Why don't you join us? It's on special oh. needs kids. You know, and, right. uh, and it's, yeah, so it's that type of thing. We've had um, a time where the public 
uh, schools needed that we were looking for a student uh -huh. that was in the valley somewhere. So they called to see if I could help them with that. So we became that's recognized. That's very exciting. Well, that's how, it, that's how it should be. Well, it should I agree, but oh. not in a, in a lot of schools. I mean, you hear it on the news all the time. This one's against the area. Yeah. This kind of thing. It's nice to know that 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 small town camaraderie yes. goes goes into the school system yeah. and, and that well. parents have a different options though our public schools are doing the best they can with all the budget cuts and Absolutely. What have you. but we have homeschool Montessori private school now so at mm -hmm. least parents have an option yes for their kids yes. what, what would be the best okay thing? tell me about that options what, what's my process if I if I want to find out more about this how do I go about it 909-866-2532 that was okay. rehearsed <laughs> that's American uh, Idol we'll, we'll, have, <laughs> we'll have that on the Channel 6 website uh, by the end of the show there so you can do that so, but, but, yeah, okay, I fine. Know, so I, I make the phone call and then what I uh, you make the phone call and I invite the parent and that child to come to school for the mm -hmm. day one of the things I will always say and I really believe this you walk into Singing Pine School I can't tell you that there are very many parents that walk back out and said this isn't for me mm -hmm. there the atmosphere the teachers everything the context in which mm -hmm. they step into is so exciting and clean and new and bright um, so that's what I ask them to do come just come yeah, and then we set it yourself. up you see for yourself okay. see what happens to the kid before we go on with that yeah. process are there people that you've said you're not for us? Yes, okay. I must say that. Say that, and let me tell you why that is. Um, one of the things my parents and I have the most incredible parent team. I, I will tell you that I have them held so high. Um, one of the things is my job is to keep that context clean, to keep mm -hmm. that the, the structure for mm -hmm. them. So bringing in someone maybe who's not maybe they're yet maybe they need to go develop a little bit of parent family team mm -hmm. that's that's gonna rock our boat probably not a good mm. idea are we a click no 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 but there definitely is a place to play mm -hmm. um, and, mm -hmm. and a, uh, a type of parent I, mm -hmm. I parenting families right. that are really looking and striving for excellence mm -hmm. and it takes it, it takes commitment as you know oh, they're parent. on their part as well oh, my goodness not just gracious. dump them in your lap and say True. do no then yeah. my teeth no 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 well, it goes home or you, you can't dump it right. on my teachers no right. way. And, and, and you had a show earlier about bullying and, right. and, yes. and things like that so uh, that's got to be a hard thing to do it's really hard that's the part of my job. You're pretty, telling, pretty much telling yeah. them you're not up right. for the cut. But like you said, you have to be able to assess a person, the family yes. the style they're having, mm -hmm. and know that they're going to be cooperating Absolutely. with the education okay. of their child. Right. That's, that's very exciting. Right. Very exciting. Okay, so the so, next process is do I have to take, does my kid have to take tests to get in or... We, I mean, at no, the, at the yes, kindergarten but no, 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 it's not, it's not like that. It, okay, um, so I don't, I don't need to be a, 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 a whiz to get into this. Absolutely school. not. Okay. And this, and this is what we do an assessment, mm -hmm. and the assessment is to make sure that that teacher knows exactly mm -hmm. where that child is starting from. We also obtain the records from wherever. It, let's say mm -hmm. it's homeschooling. There's still records from homeschooling, mm -hmm. public schools, whatever, and then we get okay. those records. So we take a look at those, but we actually assess the child. That is not to weed them out. That is to, so we can best support so them. So you can do yeah, both. Okay. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> <laughs> the big, the big okay. topic. <laughs> yeah, you're you're going to be shocked. It's three thousand dollars a year. We are. Um, you pay it on a ten month basis if you uh, like to. So it's three hundred dollars a month. Hmm. It is the lowest, lowest, lowest. Even down in Palm Springs, we started looking the Inland Empire mm -hmm. just to see. Um, and anybody who's a math person or a business person is going to say, Terry Lynn, that doesn't, make, that doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. You've got 10 students at $3,000, and you're running school with two teachers with a regular, you know, with a regular mm -hmm. uh, pay, yeah, yeah, pay yeah, or yeah. whatever you call it. Right. So my husband, again, his name is Adam, and I decided that we would... Help you got a break fund even that point school. there. It's yeah, we help. Get to so yeah. many students. We sure. help fund the school. Sure. Um, and for right now, mm -hmm. and I have we have a coach. I actually have a mentor who has been a principal and a private school teacher and public school teacher for forty years. Mm -hmm. His name is Marlon Miller. He always said, "Terry Lynn, put your head down. Don't look up for five years. Right? Five years, your yeah. break even. Forget about it. Uh, three years, they'll take you seriously." Mm -hmm. And exactly, exactly what happened. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes. you got your Three letter. years. You got to get you recognized. Yeah. Recognized. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do I have to do like a credit report or something, or you know, as a parent to bring my kid? Do you check me out? 
Um, well, let me you're put part it. Of the the, yes, you are. Yes, you're okay. part of that. Yeah, you you go right. first. <laughs> that poor child, huh? Okay. Well, no, I, you know, no, I understand. I, I, what we do is business. any. Yeah. yeah. At some point, it's business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it is. Okay. And uh, it's not financial. We haven't really had a lot of problems with that piece of it. What we're really careful of, and I was the co op cop. Mm -hmm. It was someone walked on that property, and those children were out with Miss Dollcup. I was the one who was, get, let me show me your badge. Mm -hmm. We're that way at school, too. So when we have a working parent, which uh -huh. is part of um, what we do there, right. um, where the parent comes in. Everybody has a background check. Our teachers have a really big background check. Um, so we, we check you out that mm -hmm. way. Financially, if you say that you have the money, Mm -hmm. and you're paying your thing and if you're not paying it guess what you're not paying it yeah so right. I'm gonna know I don't have to go look to see if Bank of America has your so I don't have to do like half down or no, something no no, or no 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 not at all and, mm. and if you start to get in the rears then we would have you know there yeah. to chat about sure that. but um, no really it's the background check to make sure okay. that there isn't that you're not a felon that you're not that not uh, abusive to children those mm -hmm. types of things that might come up right um, but we do all of that up front Okay. All right. Yes. Tell us well, about that was your very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. I, I love so, my school. So, I, I can yes. tell you uh, you are she's enjoying serious. yourself. She's I fantastic. love our school. So okay. tell me about the time you put the kids on a wire. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. We, no, no. Tell us we about don't have We have one minute. Tell, tell us, us about, about the fundraiser. fundraiser. You have you have one minute left. Okay. See no nine. All Go right. For this it. you do not want to miss this, and it is absolutely. You see these little green flyers all over town. It is on Leprechaun Day, which is Saturday, March seventeenth, which is right around the corner, guys. It's very soon. Yes. We have been honored to have it at the Big Bear Convention Center. They have been incredible to us. Very excited. Their marketing um, has been an amazing too. So. We're We've got that going on. We're expecting, I'm going to tell you, at the least 300 people. It could be well, up I'll to be there. Yeah, We're it's, going. it's on the Channel 6 website on the calendar of events. You can yes. get your tickets now. It's casino night, and you have kids there counting cards? No, the no, kids okay. are not okay. counting cards. Okay. Just 21 checking and over. Eight, yeah, Just say 21, 21 and over. Great food, great entertainment. Uh, Joe Bonish is going to be there. It's a wonderful event. And we're out of time. And where do we get our tickets, we're though? Out of, we're out of time. You call the convention center. Call convention center. 909 866 3000. Or I, your number again. Is, call us at 909 866 2352. 2352. Both of those are on the Channel 6 website on their calendar events. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. on. Thank Everybody, you. Everybody, don't miss it. Don't miss it. St. Patty's Day Party and come raise some money for Singing Pines. So, uh, and enroll your kids. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We'll we have gotta a go. There. Say goodbye, Gracie. See Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>